Hello and welcome back to Fallout 3 if you're truly Lord of the Mad. Hi Lord of Lords, this is Harmony, just spiffing level 22, box is madman, cute as fucking 2013. And all around neutral guy. Mutilated torsos and bottom caps. How joyous, I almost forgot we were in a super mutant lair. That, that's kind of speciesist. East. Alright. Ooh, bulletins. This is the oldest, let's start from that. Due to the increased power consumption from the installation of the Vault Deck Vault Tour, three new reactors have been installed in the sub basement section. This should help prevent any further brown brownouts or full blackouts in the visitor galleries that we've been experiencing. Thanks for your patience during this transition. This is a general announcement to any employees who use the man's laboratory facility in the maintenance area. I have logged too many complaints that people are not flushing the toilets after using them. People who use the facility to relieve themselves expect a clean and tidy environment. To prevent this from becoming a reoccurring issue, card swipe access will be required for each stall, which will log your name, time in the stall, and contents of the bowl. Until such time that we deem it no longer necessary. Fantastic. After numerous complaints in the single bending lawsuit, the Gigantamax Theater sound system has been lowered from 130 decibels to 120. Please note that all employees working in or near the theater should still wear proper ear protection to prevent any permanent damage. Fun! The planetarium recording system has been malfunctioning lately, causing the normally automated program to stop and repeat itself. If you observe this happening, please contact myself or the Chief of Maintenance on duty immediately so the system can be restarted. We hope to have the issue resolved by the start of next year. Joyous. It's a sledgehammer. The root control system. Where is this turret? I didn't see any. What is this nonsense? Sometimes corporate converted, collect the uh, chemicals, convicted briefcase. Collector. Not apparently the correct one. Let me try again. Chemicals? Oh, so it is. Good. Moving on then. Reconfigure targeting parameters. Activate turret system. Yeah, okay, that's cool. Where is the turret? This is going to fuck me over. Eh, apparently not. Just gave someone a slight headache, which was cleared quickly. By the looks of it. What's in the suitcase? Suitcase. Coffee mugs and hockey masks. Sounds like a party. Okay, now the question is where is the turret deactivated? It's kind of hope to not walk into it. The mark free turret is over there. And apparently it has nothing to fight, so I might as well disable it. I'm not sure if it managed to kill anything or not. By the looks of it, it's still intact. So it may have. Alright, powering down. Hopefully it managed to do something useful before I, I disabled it. Because otherwise... It was useless. It got me XP when I 
acted, so there's always that. What's this? Yeah, I kind of read all of that, didn't I? I think it did. That's more benches. Vault Tech welcomes you to our new line of subterranean vaults featuring our patented Triple S technology. That Triple S scared me. Vault Tech's convergence of the three most important parts of apocalyptic endurance safety, survivability, and sanitation. Oh, is the two percent failure rate the ones that were actually made to not work? Because such things actually existed. That's how most schools were made. In a rather controlled scenario. Why am I in this museum? The living sections make use of our revolutionary floor sock auto cleaner system for those darned messy kids. Never sweep again. Nice to see the janitor was Mom doing the job. Love how our Culinator 3000 kitchen system makes cooking a breeze. Mmm, I can smell the muffins baking now. Bored? Don't be! Step into our Entertainatron room and watch the latest holotapes, or perhaps listen to a symphony. Another Vault Tech innovation! Fantastic. Concerns about security? Our Eye on You cameras enable the Vault's leader to watch your every move. You'll never be alone again! Oh, hi. You'll be a vault tech vault. I mean, yeah, sure. We hope you've enjoyed our tour today. If you have any further questions, please take a brochure from our helpful vault tech guides. That's that part of the museum done with. Should I go west? Or should I investigate the east wing, which I didn't before? Let's check the east as well. Might be interesting. Still not sure what the turret was fighting. More stealth boys. Yeah, I've read the description. Why would they have them at multiple locations in the same facility? No idea. Alright. This means going through the vault again though. Sorry. That's not my plan. Lots of lights, lots of Dialogue thing is guess it could living sections make you activate your button as well. Moms will love how our culinator three thousand or don't be step into our entertainment and for shoes. Our eye on you cameras should the unlikely event arise that the planet is laid to waste. Right, this way they have to the pursues our tour today. If you have any further questions, not. please take a brochure from oh, they did offer a brochure there.
This is a scaled model of a prototype military design support vehicle being developed by the US military. The XVP-02 Vertibird is a VTO vertical takeoff and landing craft with an extremely durable armored fuselage and can be armed with a variety of offensive weapons and defense and countermeasures. This is the most advanced aircraft of its kind ever developed. And the military hopes to press them into service by 2085. Mm, yeah, the war hit before then. Doesn't mean that things stopped in the research department there. Eh? Is this where thing is? Nope. Is this where thing is? That's number two. I, I think I need to find number one first or I will be locked out of the system. I think. That's a joke, I don't really think. But I suspect it might be so. Oh, that's a lot of computers. Mushrooms! This must have been a shortcut. Fire out nozzle. Fire out space facts. And let's look at space facts. Space fact number one. The planet Jupiter is larger than 1000 Earths. The outer layers of the sun have what's known as differential rotation. The equator of the surface rotates once every 25.4 days, but near the poles it rotates once every 36 days. Cool. Now to go back. A neutron star is completely dense in solid matter. In fact, it weighs a trillion times heavier than lead. That means a piece of a neutron star the size of a pinhead would weigh as much as a large building. The sun loses almost 4 million tons of mass every second by turning hydrogen gas into energy. That adds up to almost 345 billion tons per day. Fun. If you were to send a message to someone on a planet belonging to our closest neighboring solar system, Alpha Centauri, which is almost 4.4 light years away, we wouldn't receive a reply message for 8.8 .8 years. Ah. Alright, so number 6. There are about 175 billion gal galaxies in the observable universe, each with as few as 10 million stars, up to giants with 1 trillion stars all orbiting a common center of mass. If all of the particles that made up Satan's rings were gathered together, they would form a sphere about 120 miles in diameter. Hmm. Olympus Mons, a volcano found on Mars, is the largest known volcano in the solar system. It is 370 miles across and rises 15 miles. That's three times taller than Mount Everest. Ah. Is this the same thing? Yeah. That was broken. This one? Yeah. Cool. Does this route have anything else for me? Oh, there's an option. Keep the gun in the hand. Is that the land there? I suppose not. Otherwise the map marker would point at it. For as long as history has been recorded, man has had an insatiable hunger for knowledge regarding the universe. To understand why man is so interested in this unknown expanse of space around our little world, we must take a journey. Well, I should have expected that to make enough noise to call a party. For some reason, I did not. Stop your nonsense, I'm gonna kill you. There we go. 
What? Seriously? God damn it. I was just aiming to this thing. Best action mutant there. Please sit back, relax, and free yourself from the bonds of our planet as we take off for the stars. Star planet as we star. Stop showing progress. For as long as history has been recorded, man has had an insatiable hunger for knowledge regarding the universe. I'm gonna listen to it. To understand why man is so interested in this unknown expanse of space around our little world, we must take a journey. Please sit back, relax. Oh, it's not very long. Okay, well, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.